Well, Dinwiddie and I are out again. I think we're on a new spot. I just barely started first hole. I got a really good sounding uh, high tone here. Dang, where is it? Oh man, that looks silver. What the heck is that? Oh, I think I got a token. I do. Dang, very first dig. It's a tax token. Let me uh, clean it up. Well, I don't love taxes, but I do love old tax tokens. So this is a Washington one. It says 1935. Oh, I can't believe that. First dig. Awesome. Well, I got like a little suspender or like a little buckle piece. Man, I haven't dug a bad thing yet. <laughs> I'm two for two. Let's keep this going. So I just dug me a little button. And I suspect. Oh, I think, oh, maybe I'm wrong. I thought it was going to be a military button. Let me clean it up a little better. Oh, it's a big Cones Boss button. Usually they're small. I'm not sure I've dug one that size. Well, there's a piece of clock. Yeah, I'd say we're on a site. You know, a lot of this is just always guesswork. We're like, oh, that looks like someone lived there. Yep. I thought about live digging it, and I didn't. And of course, it's a coin. What do we got? This is probably gonna be a weedy. Yeah, let me uh, let me see if I can get a date. Well, it's pretty torched, right? Where the date is, but I think it says 1917. Well, my luck hasn't been quite as good. Been digging a lot of junk. There's a gear. All right, I got another coin. Well, looks like we're stuck in weedy land. Nothing wrong with that. I think it says 1946. Well, I have a pocket watch back. And it does look like <clears throat> there's a little bit of fancy on it. All right, this site so far has been a little short on hardware for me, but hey, there's a garter clip. It's got some cool stuff, but nothing quite as cool as this. Dude. Dick Tracy Crime Stoppers. <laughs> That's amazing. That is beautiful. Yeah, I gotta get a close-up of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a drawer pull. So you gotta be getting a little closer to the house. Dang, that's ringing high. That's a little spoon bowl. I think that's silver. Yeah. Oh, no doubt. That is a silver spoon bowl. <laughs> that's crazy. I got a, if you watched my last video, I got a silver spoon last night. Oh, no. I don't think it is silver. Tricked me. Let me see. No, it's aluminum. Aluminum spoon bowl. Little one. Well, it's smashed, but... Man, you don't usually see cups in quite that nice a condition. You'd almost restore that if you had the mind to. All right, we're gonna have to call it for the night, but we're gonna come back tomorrow, so stay tuned. Weedy to end it. I don't know what year. That's real toasty. But I do see one send on the back. It's ringing low, like an Indian, so. I'm thinking it's an early one. Usually the real early ones seem to ing, ring like Indian head pennies. So maybe low teens or something. 
And I can't believe how many Wheaties are coming out of this site. I got a... Uh, Dinwiddie got one I don't think we even talked about. There's a 1955. Boy, that'd be cool if that was a double day. Did you find out what kind of car this is? Not yet. I don't know. Looks like a fire truck almost. I know, but it's, it's weird because... I don't know. It's, I don't know, know if it's a Tootsie or not, but it usually be on the top. Or the... Might be a midge. Oh. I don't know. So I pulled this out of the hole, and it's dirty, but you can see it better on the back. The queen is here. Yeah. Well, then I checked the hole, and this came out with it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think it goes together. Yeah, I don't know what I did with my brush. <laughs> Crazy. I know. I got a wheat penny too, but I have no idea of the year. It's got the 19 and I can't see nothing else. So. I already grabbed a weedy myself. Yeah, yeah, but that's pretty cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. Dinwiddie got here a little earlier than me. This is our second day here. Yeah, I think this must have went on here like this somehow. Yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. Dang, I wish I would have called that. <laughs> I was thinking. I wonder if that's a spoon. Say so it had a little plating on there. It's definitely not sterling, but it's got some fancy. Well, I just caught a glimpse of this. Wow, I did not expect that. It's a hemweight. For those of you that don't know, that uh, used to be what they'd hold like the ladies' dresses down with. They'd sew it in the bottom. Nice. That's a good relic. Definitely going to have to come back. Look at what I'm fighting here. But this is right in front of where the house is sitting. In fact, I'll turn around and try to show you. Can't even see it because it's, it's covered. But basically the house is sitting right up in here. Good. Yeah. Nice. That was much better than the... Actually, a little more toasty, but still beautiful. 1800, though. So. Yeah. Well, that makes a little more sense because I pulled that Hemway and I thought, my gosh, we haven't really. Yeah. The coins haven't been that old. And I'm thinking this place must have been around for quite a while. Awesome, oh, man. Sweet. Remember the other day when I found the tin little <laughs> spoon bowl? This might be the handle to it. Doesn't make sense is how far apart they are. I got the big spoon. I bet you some butts got paddled with this thing. That's what my mom would have done. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Got me an old truck. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, have to see what brand that sucker is. Get it all cleaned up. Well, I got a bunch of the dirt out of it. I haven't seen what the brand is. I'm sure it's either Tootsie or Midge. Awesome. Looks like I'm missing a couple tires, but I got a couple. That'll be a nice one for the collection. Dinwiddie got himself a little navy button, looks like. Awesome. They are killing it. The grass is so bad, though. In the back, but... Man, we tried to get here before it happened, it just didn't work out. Yeah. So I caught Dinwiddie skipping stuff. He gave up on this. Look, it's a little train caboose thing. Gunner likes the hole too. Western stock shipping. Unfortunately, it's a little mangled. I might have done some of that, <laughs> if I'm honest. Dinwiddie slacking. Leaving treasure. I'm trying to figure out if I was slacking <laughs> or if he distracted me. <laughs> so it looks like they've been throwing stuff off the edge here. And I see a couple of bottles right on top. Let me look around, see what I can find. 
Here's a good looking one, I think. Let's see what we got. Dang, I don't know. It's got a bunch of riding. Certo. For half bottle, pour here. Well, I don't get a chance to find uh, bottles very often. I mean, none of them are probably too great. Um, definitely think that's the best one, the one I filmed. Some have a little bit of writing on them though. But this isn't really a bottle digging channel. It is a treasure hunting channel though. I don't know, what do you guys think? Any of those good at all? Man, no, they're not that old, that's for sure. Man, I'm just headed to the car to get a backpack. To throw all that in. All them bottles. And I got another weedy. What is going on with this place? Just chucking money everywhere. So many weedies. Yeah, at this point we probably don't care what the date is. I'm gonna keep going. Well, that's one neat gear. So there's lots of different clues to look at when trying to find these all the homesteads, but these shade trees that don't match anything around, that is almost always a sure sign that there used to be someone living there. They love planting those right next to the house. Uh, I have another coin already flipped out of my plug. <laughs> another weedy. Man, there's got to be some silver around here somewhere. Well, that's some sort of pendant or pin. You see, there's kind of like a little clasp thing on there where the pin used to be. Let me see if there's anything on the front of this. Oh. It looks like a crown and a shield. And then I don't know if it's like a lion or what, but it seems like it's holding a sword or something while standing on a sword. That's ah, beautiful. <laughs> another coin. What is going on? And that's another weedy. Maybe if we live dig one, it'll turn into an Indian head penny for me. This is another weedy, that'd be so crazy. I've lost count. And then, like I say, I know there's a couple that we hadn't even shown you guys. It is another coin. No way. Oh! <laughs> It was lucky to do a live dig. I got an Indian. I, you, almost, you almost can't make something like that up. That's crazy. Let me uh, clean it up. Yep, that one's gonna be a 1901. So we found everything from 1898 all the way up to, I think, 50, 1955. So there's definitely a little time span on this spot. I just don't know why there's so many coins. I mean, was it a store? It just seems crazy that there would be that much money lost. I got another coin. What's this one? Well, this is another weedy. All right, let's keep going. Man, that's a super small buckle. That's gotta be for a pet or something. Or 
Because it could have been off a shoe. Like a baby shoe or something. I don't know. It's fancy. Look at that dainty little guy. It says hickory. And I don't know. I think it's got a guy pulling a cow or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, I'm back for a third and probably final day. Just give it whatever we can in this field before uh, the grass gets too tall. And we'll be back to try it when the grass is shorter. But I'm not sure what this is. I think it's a concho or something. Man, this place just keeps on giving. There's a Shirley president. Not in good shape. Didn't know he also found a little brooch that I didn't film him because it's just kind of junky looking. Not in good shape either. Another coin. Let's see what this one's gonna be. Well, I can't tell for sure, but I see 19-1. I'm not sure what the last number is. So something in the teens. Rang low. Like an Indian. I thought it was gonna be an Indian, so I knew it had to be an older weedy. So that's a this says Montana. So this is like one of those Montana state spoons. It's got an eagle on there. That's cool. It's an old piece of history. Dang, there's just fancy spoons all over. This is broke. That's got a big bird or something. Big eagle on there too. Man, I don't know if that's gonna focus, but uh, that hickory earlier, this is the exact same one, only this has still got plating on it. Look at this little hair clip I got, or barrette, I guess, I don't know crazy now that's an interesting little button design i've never seen that one big brooch here <laughs> yeah that's get, crazy i'll have to get you some cleaned up pictures and send them to you later but yeah you can see where pinwood went through there this is like the everlasting sight i know this is so cool <laughs> that's scutcheon so Dinwiddie over here is telling me he got an Indian head penny. And you know what's crazy about it? <laughs> I also have one at the exact same time. Ha! Take that, Dinwiddie. I think mine's 1889. Dang. Double back-to-back -back Indians. Let me go get some footage <laughs> Oh, look how gross his it's is. It's terrible because of where it came from. And in 1904, <laughs> it's like a it's like a new one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, we should look like a new one. But <laughs> he liked it his. He liked it mine with his little jeweler's loop. Jeweler's loop. Yeah, I can't even think anymore. 1888. He's saying. Yeah. So this video is getting so long. I've been skipping buttons and just spoons and yeah, all kinds of stuff. Same with Dinwiddie. <clears throat> He's found some jewelry and stuff that wasn't that great, so he didn't film it. This place is just loaded. Just loaded. Can't wait to come back here when the grass isn't so bad. Let's see what we missed. What a cool place. So Dinwiddie said he saw a mountain lion on the way up here today. In fact, right in this area. He uh, ran across the road and up the mountain. Yep, that's Montana. Lions, bears, wolves. You never know what's going to happen out here. That's why I usually have my trusty gunner with me. Watch my back. But yeah, what, a, what an amazing sight. We're mostly working this field out here the last day and a half because the grass was, you know, low enough to get in there. Over by that tree, it's just terrible. And kind of right in front of me here is the cellar hole. You can't, you can't hardly swing in there either. So, you're gonna have to come back, try this again when the grass is low. But man, amazing, amazing. I don't, I don't know why there's no silver in here though. You think with all those coins, you'd get a a nickel even man so many pennies now that i'm complaining that was fantastic so anyways 
Hope you liked it. See you on the next one.